Hello, this is Dr. Sean Cohen, and today I'll be demonstrating the small pupil thick emulsification technique. This technique utilizes Vision Blue to stain the capsule and make it more fragile so that we can open it and also increases our visibility as we remove it. We'll use a 2.2 millimeter opening with an undulating up and down approach to create a better seal. That's why I leave the eye only partially filled. Also important, leave the eye partially filled in glaucoma so we don't excessively increase the intraocular pressure. We also will remove the capsular excess, um, perform it underneath the iris plane by leading the capsule always in a forward direction. The pupil is left small here. We leave the hydrodissection cannula just underneath the visible rim and we perform a very important hydrodissection. If we cannot achieve hydrodissection, we will be required to stretch the pupil further. It is an advantage not to stretch the pupil in cases of very floppy irises and also in cases where there is uveitis and even in a phacotubeculectomy where you don't want to have, to have bleeding in the postoperative period or a, an excessive breakdown of the blood aqueous barrier. This technique is a huge advantage, but requires two conditions in order to be able to do this with a small pupil technique. That crack that you just saw must be achieved. If you cannot achieve good hydrodissection and you cannot achieve at least a hemonucleus crack, you will be required to, to stretch the pupil further or perform the surgery with iris hooks or some other method to increase visibility. The chopping technique or dividing, divide and conquer techniques can both be used in this instance. Usually in cases of hard nuclear sclerosis, as in this patient, there is not much cortex to remove at the end. If such cortex remains, you can either use the um, momentum technique as demonstrated in a previous video or segmental removal, but it's important to make sure that there are no pieces trapped underneath the iris or in the sulcus uh, at the conclusion of the procedure. You can use the Nagahara instrument as I'm, have, as I'm using here to uh, expose the iris in different quadrants to see if there are any remaining fragments to be removed. Turning the port sideways does help a little bit to get a better occlusion to be able to pull the pieces into the iris plane and then they can be chopped or vacuumed or aspirated using the help of the second instrument. This is a 2.2 millimeter uh, technique. Um, we also have the soft tip uh, FACO to be able to remove any cortex uh, that remains. Sometimes it can be difficult uh, to get access to these pieces and the second instrument does help by teasing the instrument to the proper position so it can be properly delivered and aspirated in the iris plane. Be careful not to leave any pieces behind uh, good exploration with the second instrument is important. From this point on, this is a patient that actually has nystagmus, as you can see. We will fill the eye with viscoelastic and place the intraocular lens in the position and then hydro, um, hydrate the wound and we can, be, uh, we can then exit safely. So please join me at www.supereyecare.com I hope this information has been useful to you. Thank you for your time and attention.